Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. Today I want to do my third tutorial for iBank for the Mac. And this tutorial is going to go over how to create a budget. And in my previous two tutorials, I've done how to add a transaction and how to add an account. And there will be links at the end of this video to those two tutorials, so in case you missed them. So what we first want to do is go down here and uh, open up our iBank test account file. And as you can see here in the middle, I've already added uh, some transactions and set the categories to those transactions for this ac test account. And what you want to do to create a budget is up at the top here, you'll see the budget with a plus uh, sign up here. And what you want to do is go ahead and click that. And then you'll see, then budgets will uh, pop up over here in the left side. And let's just name this budget test budget. Go ahead and enter. And then what you have here is you have your... Uh, different categories here you can add. These are uh, down below are for your expense categories and then up above you have your income categories so you can track your uh, deposits, your salary, um, anything else that's income that you want to track. But we'll start down here in the uh, expense category and we'll select um, let's say cell phone and then monthly and then the amount you uh, want to spend monthly, let's say you want to set a limit of $75 a month. So you put in $75. This will, and this tracks the average over a year. So you have $75 a month times 12 months is $900 a year. Uh, what else do we want to track? We want to track our auto fuel. Let's say we want to, we fill up every week. Let's say we want to spend no more than forty dollars a week then we also have let's add in let's say auto loan and that's a monthly payment and we know what these are so we can set let's say 200 that's what our auto loan is every month let's see um, we can set clothing there's just a bunch of different categories you can choose from you can either also add different uh, your own categories to this so let's say fifty dollars a month for clothing and then let's go up here to the income category and add that let's let's add in salary down here and let's say you we make five hundred dollars a week so twenty six thousand a year and we have those categories set once you have these categories set you can't, you're all set, your budget is all done. Now if you want to monitor your budget, what you do is go up here to the top next to where you click to create a budget and you see this thing called budget monitor. Go ahead and click this and if you have more than one budget, you'll be able to select in this uh, drop down menu of which budget you want to look at. And you can also over here click, you want to look at the budget for this year, last year, this quarter, last quarter, month to date, last month, last two weeks, or last week. Right now we have it set to year. And as you can see here, you have your categories uh, in alphabetical order down here and it shows you um, uh, how far along you are in that budget. You have, let's see here, we have our uh, auto fuel. We've spent $100 of our 2080, $2,080 so far this year. So we're under budget. Once that that uh, number gets closer to your budget, it, the, this line is going to turn yellow. Then if you exceed your budget, the line will t turn red. So and then you see your, our income right here. This will track your income here too as well. So this is a great way to uh, keep track of your expenses and create a budget and make sure you don't go over your spending that you want to do. So this can track a wide variety of categories you can uh, input your own categories so if you have any comments or questions on how to do this or anything else to do with iBank leave those down below and we'll catch you guys in the next video